down to you on my Instagram what kind of workout you would like to see to do in your home, and most people voted for a leg burner workout. So I have a workout planned for you to help get your legs nice and toned. So we're gonna start off with a warm up, getting our heart rate up. So we're just gonna start with some jumping jacks. I have a clock in front of me. We're just gonna do jumping jacks for 30 seconds. Get our body moving. We never want to start a workout without warming up. We want to make sure our muscles are nice and warm. We're going to wrap up jumping jacks and we're going to do some in and out squats. So you're going to tap one foot to the other side. Alternating, keep that chest up. Let's get in two more on each side. All right, next we have some curtsy lunges. So you're gonna do a reverse lunge, but you're gonna bring that back foot to the side. Then you're gonna alternate to the other side. Couple of these. Just trying to get our legs nice and warmed up before this workout that I have planned for you guys. Next, we're gonna do some inchworms. So, you're gonna start with your hands close to your feet. Walk those hands out. Give me a push up. If you need to use your knees, that's fine too. Walk your hands as close back to your feet as possible. Stand up. Let's do two more of these. Take your time. Go at whatever pace you need. After your three, you're going to walk your hands back to a downward facing dog. We're going to do some alternating toe touches. You can bring your feet a little wider. You're going to tap opposite hand. To opposite foot. Feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. We're starting with 60 air squats. 
With our air squats, we want to make sure our weight is in our heels, that we're keeping our chest up, that we're sending our hips back and our butt down. Squeeze all the way to stand up. We're going to start our 60. So now I have 59 left.
rounds of 50, and now we're on our set of 40. For those step ups, I have a box right here at home. If you do not have a box, you can use a chair, you can use a stool. Make sure those items are stable. You don't want the weight uneven. If you're feeling good, you can also use your couch, whatever it may be. I think the stairs are a great option. You can also go based off height, so maybe step over two steps to get a little bit more height, but I'm gonna step onto a 20 inch box. For our step ups, we wanna make sure we're staying all the way up at the top. We're doing 20 on each leg, alternating back and forth.
to a squat, I'm going to demo some from the side, some from the front. So we're doing 20 of these. You're going to come to that nice plank position. You want to bring those shoulders over your wrist. Nice tight core. And I'm going to come to a low squat, replace my hands with my feet, jump back out to a squat. If you cannot jump, you can always step out, step back in. Either way it works. I have four down. We're doing 20. Let's get moving. All right, I'm halfway there. I'm going to shake out my legs a little bit. They're tightening up. I'm going to do a couple of these. From the front as well. Plank, low squat.
Go body weight. I'm going to use a dumbbell. Bring it right into my hip. Rest on my back. I'm pressing out my bottom foot and sending my hips up for this movement. Let's start chipping away at these.
one of my lunges. We're back to those 60 squats, but hang on tight because remember I said we have a surprise coming at the end. Let's get into it. Squats are one of my favorite movements ever. I'm gonna shake from the side. As you can see, my weight is back on my heels, not coming on my toes. That puts pressure on our knees. So I'm at that halfway point, I'm 30 squats in. I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit. I'm gonna finish on my last 30 reps with my dumbbell. Remember, you can use any weighted object in your house. If you don't wanna use a weight, that's fine too. You're still gonna get the most out of body weight squats. But I'm gonna bring that dumbbell up high into my chest. Not got these last 30. You got this. Last. 